Hi. Uh, today we're going to talk about why we do easy runs. Um, before I get started, I want to mention that uh, I don't uh, I don't know Jack Daniels. He doesn't authorize this. I don't get a commission or anything like that, and I, I hope he's not embarrassed by what I do. So let's talk about why E. And the answer is, um, well, just a second. Let me fill in my triangle again because I erased you from last time. So the reason we do E is because it, during the easy running is when we get stronger. At the end of a workout, you get really tired, right? And then at the rest period is when you get stronger. You know that. You feel better. So you strengthen when your muscles are, are allowed to move easily and build themselves up stronger. You don't strengthen when you beat yourself to a pulp on work days. So uh, let me write something. Here's a Jack Daniels rule. I put them in blue and circle the number. This is rule number seven. Eat and sleep well. It can't be emphasized enough. You have to feel good for your workouts. So anyway, let's talk about one of the purposes of long runs. It's to build up glycogen. Glycogen is stored glucose. It's stored next to your muscles. So there's the, the glycogen in black little circles. Um, and your muscles are in red. So on week one, you have some glycogen. And you do a workout. And you drive that glycogen down to zero. And then week two, your body responds. And now you have four units of glycogen whatever unit is, and you do a workout, and it goes back down to zero. And then week three, you know, your body says, oh, you need more glycogen. Look at you. Uh, you're up to five. So then by week 16, with steady progression, oh, my God, your body really, really piles on the glucons, glucose, uh, glycogen. So um, this needs a progression. And Whoops, I forgot an end. Um, it can't happen in one big workout. You need a steady progression week by week by week. And this all happens from comfortable, easy, long runs. So um, you need a uh, uh, muscle movement, and, and it has to be easy. So um, let me show you a little graph. We'll see this more. Here's workout time from zero to one or two hours, whatever. And uh, we'll have fast paces towards the top and slow paces here. So easy means you're going to do your work workout just like that, nice and easy the whole way. And sometimes we call these long runs. Um, long runs are longer than easy. They're pretty close to the same pace. Uh, marathon pace a little faster, but technically it's easy because um, because it's not uh, any harder like a tempo. Tempo runs might be sprinkled in the middle of your easy runs. That helps to deplete your glycogen. So your question now is, how much of this easy stuff should I do? And the answer is 70, 75%. It's down here at the bottom of the pyramid. You can see it's it's you can't do you you just can't um, do too much of it really. Um, and so the message here is easy running's critical. Uh, if you just pile on nothing but hard days, you're going to get injured. So the easy runs there to make you feel better. Okay.